All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, the station has been, oh, a little bit of autosave, has been uh, pretty, pretty well taken care of by this thing. I think what we will try to do, honestly, I think we might try to rotate it real quick because we can, uh, we can tractor beam this thing over to like here. Yeah, I kind of want to try that. So, I'm going to take tractor beam off. Um, and then what we're going to do... Real quick, I want to check what the tractor beam is set to. Oh, we should probably turn it on. That'd probably help. Set to push. Perfect. Okay, we'll go... Right here. Right... Yeah, like that. Oh shoot, this thing's taking hits to the reactor. We need to hurry. Oh, we're firing. We don't want to fire. Hold on, hold on. You off. You off. You off. And you off. Railguns shouldn't fire. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, we're turning. Let's go to tractor beam. On that. Oh, shoot. Are we not powering the tractor beam? Okay. Um, everybody? Tractor beam. Come on. Tractor beam, everybody. Okay, there we go. How close is it? Oh, we're good. We got time. All right, let's get this close. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. All right, let's move back out of here. And then uh, we'll cancel our tractor beam. There we go. All right, we'll move out of here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The station... Oh. Can we please get back into range? The station is rotating. It's not super ideal. It's not really what I wanted it to do. Is it the station rotating or is it... No, the station's definitely moving because there's the trail of stuff it left behind. Okay, that is very strange, very strange indeed. Huh. All right, well, the point defense seems to be attacking storage now, so I think we'll just let it do its thing for a little bit. Okay, we've let this go on for long enough. Pretty much as far as we can let it go. Uh, the reactor core, I think, is still at full health, but it does not have any shielding at the moment, and that is a uh, no bueno. So I think what we're going to do is move ourselves up in here. They're not attacking the core yet. But here we go. Let's attack the defense platform, and... We'll just take out the cab. Bam. All right. Station rescued. <laughs> it's quite the, uh, quite the rescue operation, huh? Spent a solid five steel doing that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll collect up as much as we can. Man, this is going to take uh, quite a bit.
quite some time to collect up. I think they're gonna be. I think they're gonna be fairly upset that we didn't <laughs> um, we didn't save them straight off the bat. Look at how much of that station got taken out. That's actually pretty wild. I probably could have played around with the tractor beam a bit more, but I didn't want it to just reset and then us be in the same boat anyway. All right, we've grabbed everything we can. Let's talk to these guys. Rescue the station. Dang it. We're not getting any fame for any of this. Does this give us fame? This gives us fame. I'll destroy a pirate base. Why not? Oh, what's this? $6,000 for free for exploring around? Why not? Um, Hyperium. I guess we can hold on to that. We probably don't need so much ammo. Uh... Let's get rid of, I guess, the coils. Oh, this is 27k of hypercoils. I made the mistake of selling the hypercoils last time. We're not doing it this time. We're going to hold on to them. We're going to sell the coils. Uh, we're going to keep the enriched uranium as well. That stuff's going to come in handy for my next plan. Uh, I guess we can get rid of the steel as well. We don't need so much of either of those. There we go, and they take up a lot of space in our hold that we can transfer into their hold. There we go. Now we can collect up a bunch of this stuff. There we go. I would like to move a little closer if possible. Can we get even closer? Oh, we can just bump the station out of the way. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get to your remains so that I can... There we go. Let's hail the station again. And then maybe... Yeah, get rid of some more steel. Oh, even more steel? Yeah, let's do it. Wait. Did we just buy steel? No, we did not. We're good. Oh, we can get rid of more? Alright, there we go. Let's get rid of all of it. Alright, we probably don't need so much Hyperium. Eh, we'll hold on to the Hyperium. It can be useful. Um, yep, I need more. Go get it all, boys. Hopefully our mining laser doesn't shoot through the station. That would be embarrassing. Alright, and then... We'll grab whatever's here. A couple of steel plates. Well, let's come down in here and collect up all this. Yes, perfect. Take all of that. Talk to the station again. Hi guys, me again. Could we uh, get rid of some more of these? Thank you. You guys are great. All right, let's come back down in here again. Collect up as much of that as we can. We actually brought the Triraptor down, so we could bring the Triraptor up here and then do a cheeky exchange of resources. Transfer resources to the Triraptor, please. Yeah, hypercoils, enriched uranium, yep. All the Hyperium. This thing's probably full, isn't it? Let's look. Uh, yeah, it is. Let's, uh... Let's expand it. This thing's just gonna be one long boy. Alright, there we go. Now that's all set up. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Did we... Run out of space or something? Oh yeah, okay. Alright, fair enough. Uh, transfer resources to the Triraptor. All of this good stuff. Yep, all that. Please do. There we go. I think turning the Triraptor into 
a hauler was definitely a good move. Because uh, I want to take these items with me. And possibly build a bunch of little mini ships out of them. Or expand our own capabilities. We should probably turn these back on. I should probably turn these on. There we go. There we go. We'll collect all this. And then is that everything? I believe that's everything. Minus this one little bit of steel. Which we will also grab. Send one guy out to get it. Awesome. Transfer resources to the Triraptor. Yep, just steel. Why not? Is it because you're out of storage space? It is not. You've got plenty of space. Alright, cool. Um, Let's uh, see what you've got going on. Oh yeah, I made some Tritanium. Um in the Tritanium factory earlier, which was pretty mint, if I do say so myself. We've got gold in here. Nice, nice. Uh, we have a lot of Hyperium. Good heavens. And a lot of steel. Um, I think we could make some more Hypercoils if we got some copper. Yeah, Hypercoils, and then what other factories did we have on here? Coil Factory, Hyper Coil Factory, Tri Steel Smelter, and Steel Smelter. Alright. Yeah, we could go do some uh, some mining for all those resources. Could do. Uh, I think what we'll do is I'll show you guys what the beginning, or what the plan is. We'll get serious to come down here. How fast can they travel? Uh, they're decently fast. That's fine. Yeah, we'll have them come down here to where we're at. I wonder if the station will ever repair itself, or if it's just going to sit there like this forever. It would be an interesting thought experiment. We'll try to come back to... Oh, what's going on? Okay. Yeah, we'll try to come back and figure out if this is going to fix itself or not. All right, so here's the plan, right? This ship really ain't doing much for us. Um, and it requires... How much crew do you require? Eight crew, right? To run this whole shebang, which is not super ideal. So I'm thinking we're going to um, have one big main ship, right? Which is obviously, you know, the Model C over here. Um... We'll probably rename the ship soon as well, and probably repaint job it, because it looks silly. But, this is our main ship, right? Our, uh, sniper boy over here. This is our hauler, right? And that'll, uh, you know, just probably hang out next to stations most of the time, and just hold stuff for us, which is pretty neat. But this bad boy, um, I don't want to spend a lot of crew on other ships. I also don't want to spend a lot of like resources, especially expensive resources like tri-steel and hypercoils and yada yada. I don't want to spend a lot of resources on new ships. But, or well, I guess so, I've been messing around with making smaller ships, right? So, we can take this bad boy, go into blueprint mode really quickly, and... How do I load? Oh, there's a career log? Wow. Look at that. Fame and reputation? Oh, wow. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Neat. Can I? No, I don't want to do any of this. Hmm. I want to... Oh, hello. Yeah, see, this is it. This is the ship we're going to try to make. I've been tweaking it a bunch, and oop de doo -da. And I want to change this ship into one of those. 
how we go about doing so is not inherently clear. Screenshot blueprints, edit name, transfer crew, transfer resources, display. I mean, it's got to be under the build menu, right? You would think this is the galaxy map. We open this up. That doesn't do anything for us. Select tool? Yeah. Ship editor. Ooh, here we go. So load ship, paste into existing. Yep, there we go. Found it. This is our taser, right? Uh, not connected. Ooh, yep. Can we go into blueprint mode? Yes. Perfect. All right, so right here, I'll compare the two for you, right? We've got the one on the right. It's uh, heavier for one, um, more expensive for two, and three, it needs way more crew, right? And it's, I think, slower probably than what we've got going on in the left-hand picture. The left-hand picture has no storage. Um, it only has six crew, right? I tried to run it with four crew, tried really hard uh, to get it to run with only four crew. Does not work, does not work at all. So we ended up scrapping the four crew plan and have gone with instead a six crew plan so that they can run power a little bit more efficiently. Uh, I tried to find ways to like shimmy shift things around to make the power more efficient and I just can't figure out um, how to do it. So it's gonna look like this and then uh, it'll have six crew per ship, right? And then that six crew per ship will run basically these disruptors. And once we have multiple of these ships running around, uh, since they only all require six people, we can get to the point where, you know, we just have so many of these ships firing these disruptors that we can stun ships into not working. Um, and then slowly wait for our sniper ship to just break them down, right? So that's kind of the plan. That's what we're shooting for. Um, so yeah, I think what we should do is we will, can we go back? Yeah, I'll just discard modifications and then we'll go back into blueprint mode, replace existing, and then we'll load this ship. Perfect. Is that gonna work? Why isn't this gonna work? Hmm. Missing blueprints, of course. Okay. All right, so let's uh, really quickly talk to the station here. We'll grab the disruptor blueprint, which is all we need. We'll come back over here real quick next to all of the fancy resources and Um, so it's not going to work. I want to make it so. It's not going to let me make it so. All right. Let's uh, discard modifications. Go back into blueprint mode. Load ship replaced existing. The taser load ship. Bam. All right. Yeah. All that's going to cost us. 41 steel, 67 coils, 35 hypercoils, and 6 uranium. Um, pretty happy with that. Yeah, deconstruction refunds. So it costs a bit more than that. But uh, since we're recycling an old ship, it should work. It should just work. All right, so we've got three people on here currently. We're going to need six to run this taser. Um, is this my design? I could have sworn I changed the paint job. Yeah, it's definitely my design. All right. Let's take, uh, let's take some crew out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what I want. Yeah, here we go. Transfer crew. Yeah, to the Sirius. 
It's got three, it needs six, so we'll transfer two. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did it say two? It did say two. Hold the phone. Oh, there's six people. One, two, three, four, five. Where's the sixth guy? Oh, he's coming over. All right, cool. All right, so now this is a fully functional ship. Um, it's not very well defended. It's probably not very good, but I think in large quantities, this ship will be amazing. Um, it also goes pretty fast, which is why it has a big thruster on the back. Uh, I wanted it to be able to go fairly quick. Yeah, so we can get all the way up to 90. 91.5-ish, which is pretty good. Uh, it travels, I think, around 70 or 80 backwards, which would be good. Uh, I want it to be able to keep up with the bigger ship and also not get completely toasted. Uh, I want it to be able to back up so that it doesn't get completely toasted. And then did you leave Hyperium on the ground? Storage full. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Hyperium was uh, engine is probably full I think if we allows the ship to instantly instantaneously travel yada 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 alt to show statistics nope it's not showing statistics oh it's because I'm stuck in here power capacity 16 Hyperium capacity 20 okay so there's 20 Hyperium already in there I think Otherwise, it would have let us pick this up. All right, let's uh, get somebody to pick these up. There we go. But yeah, that's the plan. I suppose we'll leave it there for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Um, we got our taser up and running. We're definitely going to get more of those. We're going to make a little swarm of them. Um, and yeah, it'll be pretty great. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, and have a great day.